Mercy. <laughs> I guess people probably can hear me. Woohoo! Yes, hi, Allison Crow. How fun is this? You've been watching. You've been waiting. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, and Renee, hello. And Thrive with Sarah, hello. And I am... Yay! Okay. So, what I'm doing today... Oh, by the way, my name is Charity Gent, and I am a mixed media life coach here to help you marry your creativity to your life's purposes, fulfillment goals, all that good stuff. And one of the things I want to just kind of walk you through today is, and I don't think I even titled this because I'm just learning and playing around like everybody else here. Everybody else here. Uh, I'm in my studio. Doo -doo -doo. Here I am. It's messy, but I don't care. And what I want to do today is show you three of my favorite ways to get paint on a canvas. Okay, so there are three main things. And I had a tripod I was using earlier, but I'm still playing learning all this. So, oh, thank you, Soulful Selling, for inviting followers. We're going to talk about three ways to get paintings, on, or excuse me, to get color and paint on a canvas. Three of my favorite ways. Because I think when you're a mixed media artist or any artist really, and you're worried about getting paint uh, on the canvas because you're just terrified of starting, I get it, believe me, I've been there. Um, there are three ways you can do it uh, that I think work really well. And the three ways I'm going to show you today involve three things you probably have either around your house or can easily get at a big box or a craft store. And we're going to call it the three B's, okay? Oh, that's my dog. She decides to bark right in the middle of my, my session. Girl, Ingrid, come here, baby. It's okay. She's my lover from a former life, so I can't get too angry with her. Okay, so I don't see any comments coming up, but I do see lots of people joining. Allie, and I saw a few other people pop up a minute ago. What we're doing is talking about the three ways I love to get paint on a canvas and to start. So here's what I'm going to do first is pick a color. All right, so let's just do that. And I like to pick juicy, fun colors. Right now I'm really into ooh, turquoise. And I like this Americana paint. It's very easy to find and gets really, um, it's, it's just, it's easy to work with for a beginner uh, or even a more seasoned person. And then I'm also really liking this yellow because it's summer. And this is Golden Flow Acrylic Paint. By the way, I am using what they call um, Flow Acrylics. They are um, liquid acrylic and they are easy to work with. And so um, you can get those at an art store. Oh, Renee uses that brand too. Yeah, Golden has really nice pigmentation that will allow your colors to blend really well and not create a lot of that... Yes, yes, Tony loves those too. Uh, it doesn't create a lot of muddiness, I guess. We'll just say that. You know, that brown, icky color that you can get sometimes. All right. So three ways to start. I have taken a basic canvas here. Simple white canvas. And you can use any size. You can use a mixed media paper or a heavy watercolor paper. And what I simply do is, and this canvas, by the way, I just picked up at I think it was Michael's big box store, um, but just take the canvas and first I like to kind of feel it. Ooh. Oh yes, Renee says she has about 50 Americana paints. I like Americana and folk art too for really kind of less expensive paint. You know, golden, this stuff is, this will cost you your eye teeth to get some of this stuff, but the Americana paint, I like it a lot. And it doesn't stink like some of the other less expensive brands. I mean, literally smell. I think it stinks. Some of them do. Not this one, though. I like this one. Anyway, getting back to getting the paint on the canvas. If you're just joining, thank you. My name is Charity Gent. I am a mixed media life coach. I use a variety of media to help individuals, groups, uh, find, their, find their purpose in life. And I, I like using different media forms to do that. So it could be that we are using, like here, video. Sometimes it's writing, sometimes it's painting. And then we also use um, a variety. So anyway, just using a variety of mixed media techniques. And so this little play on words. Anyway, here we are. And I'm going to show you my favorite three ways to get paint on the canvas. So first way is simply to just use what I call, or what, what I call, but what is called a brayer. This handy dandy little tool here is called a brayer and all you need to do and the reason I like the brayer is because it creates some really cool texture 
All right, so you don't have to be uber talented with texture or even have any other materials or supplies around. You simply take your paint. So I've got my Americana paint here. And uh, by the way, I'm wearing an apron because you do not want to get this paint on you people. It will stain your clothes. So just FYI, this ain't Crayola watercolors we're using here. So make sure you cover yourself, wear paint clothes, very important. Oh, look at all those hearts. Yep, I'm saving you those new Calvin Kleins, or I'm saving your new Calvin Kleins. All right, anyway, so you take and you just, I'm just going to show you here, if I can, because I'm new at this, bear with me. Um, I'm going to just put some paint onto the canvas. So you can see there, I've got my paint on my canvas. And now I'm just going to take the brayer and move it along to literally push the paint around. Pushing the paint around. And you can see there how it creates this really awesome texture, right? Really awesome texture, which I love, 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 love. And once we dry that, and by the way, I like to use a little tool for drying to kind of quick dry so I don't have to wait for my layers. Hi, Reba, who just joined. I like to use this little tool here. It is called an embossing gun or a heat gun. And when you just put it on your paint, like so, it'll quick dry everything. And what's really nice, you can also use a hair dryer so you don't have to run out and buy a fancy gun, nothing like that. But you can use the embossing tool to quick dry and that'll help really cut a lot of that mixing of colors so that you don't get that brown muck. Okay, so this layer is now dry. And I'll just show you here. Really cool textures. Really, really cool textures. I love that. All right, now... What if we want to add a little fun texture to that? Well, my second favorite tool I'm going to show you. So remember the first one was the brayer. That's this handy dandy little roller. You can buy these at any big box store, online, art, your local art supply store. And I am a big fan of the local art supply store. Those people know what they're talking about. So I encourage you to, when you can, shop the local supply store. All right, anyway. Brayers here will cost you anywhere from, I don't know, I think I'd pick them up anywhere. Cheapies on the... Cheap end, 10 bucks. Higher end, 25 bucks. They come in a variety of sizes. Just pick one, start playing with it. All right, now the next thing you probably have somewhere around your house bubble wrap, bubble wrap, bubble wrap. Love this stuff. Um, every time I get a package, I save this stuff. And now I have a whole big old bag of it growing over here in my corner. So I encourage you to do something similarly. All different shapes, sizes, flavors. It's fun to play with and usually free. Well, with whatever you paid for to get it. All right, so we're now going to take our yellow golden paint and I'm just going to go ahead and literally pour it on my bubble wrap. Okay, so you can kind of see there now. Doo -doo. And then I'm just gonna spread it out so that it gets, I don't know if you can kind of see what I'm doing there. Spreading it out, spreading it out. Now, the bubble wrap has the paint right on it. Because my other layer is already dry on my canvas, I can just add this on now. Boom, lay it down flat like this. Wiping or pressing down a little bit. And I've got some paint on my fingers, that's okay. Just, just do this with it. Just do that and get it. You know, no paint is wasted in mixed media. That's one of the things that I really like about mixed media is we don't waste any paint. All right, now, you can, to get this layer, pull this up, and voila, look at that magic. Look at that magic. It's a layer. And here, I'm going to lay it down again because I still have some paint left on my bubble wrap. So I'm laying it down again, and I'll show you here. Now, this is looking pretty cool, right? If you can see some of that texture in there. Now, I probably had a little too much paint on that bubble wrap right there just now. So that might have caused a little bit of um, that glopping. But let me, let me just see if I can get some of that glopping up. Oh, I like these two colors together too. They're very nice. Oh, that's cool. Okay, check this out. This is fun. Okay, see that on the top there? We're just creating layers. We're just getting paint on the canvas. That's all we're doing here. When we can engage our brains like this creatively, it actually stimulates the center of our brain deep inside our cerebral cortex called the amygdala. 
And the amygdala is what releases a lot of the signals to our emotional body, if you will, to relax and to breathe. And it makes sure that all that cortisol that you might be releasing from stress goes away so that you can actually stop and breathe and enjoy life. And when, you, when you're doing that, you feel better. And when you feel better, you do better. And you're better able to make decisions and create the kind of life for yourself that you want. So this is really good stuff to just play around with. We're not creating anything here. We're just processing. We're just playing in the process. All right. Final thing you can use to get some paint, one of my favorite things, to get paint on the canvas. Yes, you see it here, a sponge brush. Nothing exciting here about a sponge brush, but what you need to see is this ridge on this sponge brush right here. See that ridge on the edge? That can create some amazing, fun details. So I'm going to choose another color here, and I'm going to go with some red, because red is really kind of fun against yellow and teal. And I'm just going to put a little bit of red actually right onto my canvas. So if you can see that. And then I'm just going to take my sponge brush. And note how I'm actually working right on the canvas. I'm not afraid of that, right? And I'm just going to kind of brush the paint back and forth, and then... You know what? You can create lines all along here. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that, right? And let's put a little more up here. And I'm going to grab this sponge brush has a little bit of a nick in it, so it's not as stiff as I like it to be. So let me just grab a different one here. This one's not one of my favorites either, but we'll give it a go. And just start creating some lines like this, right? So you can see here with just three colors, and then you can just boop, 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 do that. With just three colors and three tools, a three by three, you have created, and three is a great number, by the way, you have created the beginnings of a painting. And you can do all kinds of things with this. And I have two examples here I want to show you when you just keep adding more and more layers. Oh, thank you. I love that shade of orange, too. Thank you, Soulful Sewing. When you add layers, you can eventually come up with something like this where you've got all kinds of beautiful layers that you can then decide which ones you want to expose and which ones you don't, as well as this one here. Thank you. This one here, which I love, and it says perch. might be backwards for you guys, but you can see I added on here these birds, so I just pasted those on, and then I added through stamping the word perch, right? And oh, thanks for all the hearts, you guys, and all the love. It makes me feel so special. And then you can see bubble wrap here that I used and a variety of different, uh, some ribbons, some stamps. But you can use all kinds of things. But it all begins, creating these pieces all begins simply with this. Brayers, bubble wrap, and brushes. All right, loves. So that's all I got for you today. Remember, I'm Charity Gent mixed media life coach. I love creating and helping others create to create a more purposeful life. So I'm going to be scoping more on this stuff and probably even building on this piece to show you some other things that you can do. This maybe will be our piece that our working piece and we'll create a creation together. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you so much, Siren458. Thank you, Allison. Love you, love you, love you. All right, everybody. That's it. I'm bugging out. See you later. Mwah. Love you. Bye.